Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's visit the concept of mode again, but in a little bit more detail. And we're going to compare it again to the mean and to the median. So here we have 10 different prices for 10 different hamburgers. Where did the hamburgers come from? Well, we went on a long road trip and we stopped for lunch and for breakfast and for dinner and for snacks. And we purchased 10 different hamburgers at 10 different places and we paid different prices for those hamburgers and there are the 10 prices that we paid and so now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the mode but before we do that we're also going to calculate the mean or the average and the median so first of all we're going to reorder the prices from cheapest to most expensive we need to do that because that makes it easier to find the median and the mode we don't need to do that to find the mean or the average so when we add up all the prices and we divide by the total number of hamburgers, which were 10, it's $49, and I guess I should put a dollar sign on here, $49 divided by 10, which is $4.90 each. So you can say that the average price for hamburgers was $4.90, and that is not a, bad, uh, not a bad number because there were really no specific huge outliers. It's not like we walked in a place and a hamburger was $38 or something like that. Next, we're going to calculate the mode. Uh, no, not yet the mode. Let's go for the median. Now the median is the middle value. Now notice there's 10 values, so how do you find the middle value when there's 10 of them? We should have an odd number that makes it a lot easier. But don't worry, if it's an even number of values, all we do is we find the middle value, which in this case is between these two. Notice there's four, no, there's five values on the left and five values to the right. So we pick the point right in the middle, which there is no value there. It's between the fifth and the sixth value. So how do you find the median? What you do is you take the value on each side, add them together, and divide by two. Now in this case, they were both the same value, four dollars. So we have four plus four is eight, divided by two, we get four dollars, and that then becomes the median. Now what if one of them had been a different value? For example, that had been $5 and this had been $4. Then you add 4 to 5, divided by 2, and you get $4.50 as the median value. So don't worry, you can find always the median by picking a value in between two if the total number of values is even, and then you average the two on either side of your arrow. So now we're going to talk about the mode. After all, that's what this video is all about. It's about finding the mode. Now, what do we mean by the mode? The mode is the data value that occurs the most number of times. And if you line them up from smallest to largest, you can clearly see that the value four appeared the most times, three times, which is the most times. So that becomes the mode. The mode kind of gives you an indication that you walk into a burger place at random and you buy a burger that the most likely cost is going to be $4. More often will you pay $4 than any other value. So the mode has kind of a different connotation, a different meaning, a different result. It just says that there's a higher probability that you'll pay $4 than any other amount. The average price was $4.90 and notice that the middle value, the median, was $4. So in this case, the most likely cost and the typical cost is $4. The average cost is $4.90 because there were some burger places that were rather expensive that kind of raised the average price up somewhat. Now what if the data set has, is, looks like this for example, and notice that the number three occurs twice and then number seven occurs twice and they're asking you to find the mode of that data set. Now since there's no one winner there's no one particular value that occurs more than any other value, even though three occurs more than twice, two, five, and nine, but there's another value, the value seven, that also occurs twice. In that case, you simply state there is no mode. In order to have a mode, one value must, occur, must occur more times than any other value, and if it doesn't, there's no such thing as a mode. There's simply, in this data set, there is no mode. And that's the requirement when we're dealing with statistics.